Look at the impressive group of rocks behind me. This is Meteora. Today we're gonna spend 10 hours in Delhi. We are in Cappadocia, Turkey. Calcutta, India. Oh, Istanbul, Turkey. Athens, Greece. I'm gonna take a cooking class. This Christmas tree cave was by far like the most beautiful. It looked like a cathedral of stalagmites or stalactites. So you might think that you're a fit traveler until you try a trek like this. For the most part, getting around pie is best on motorbikes. Venice Beach has got it all. You will see everything and anything here. Anything goes. If there's one beach that has that complete LA Hollywood vibe, Venice Beach is gonna be it. So for those who aren't very shy about doing their workout in public, don't mind a little Southern California tan, they come out to Muscle Beach. Haven't seen any donkeys yet, but I have a feeling that I'm very, very close. Time starts right now. Go. Let's see what we can see. Thera is a popular village for most tourists and backpackers. It's right with accommodations. Walking over Galata Bridge, you'll see a lot of fishermen lined up along the bridge side, throwing their reels out, waiting to catch some fish. Now, a lot of them look pretty patient. They're like here for the day, and it's kind of a sight to see. Now, it's not only on this side of the bridge, it's also on the other side of the bridge too. So, this has got to be some awesome fishing spot. Places like Uchisar Castle, they're all actually man-made, which is the phenomenal thing. You can walk around and explore those caves, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So, come on, let's go see. Anyone home? Just checking. So the material here is just so porous, and you can see how it crumbles. It just kind of gives away in your hand when you touch it. Now one of the beautiful things that I love about Bangkok is that it's got many different types of transportations to get you around. Right off the BTS SkyTrain, a motorbike taxi in the area, and you'll see all the motorbikes lined up. And meanwhile, very few local people speak or understand anything but for So, language barriers will probably be a bit of a problem for me. Marble sink. Ah, okay. No, With two. Is, yes, yes, this is our, uh, this is our hammam, Turkish bath. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this is because this is the, how we used to take a shower before. There's a marble, like a small cup, and oh. then two you know, pipes, yeah. hot and you know, cold water. Uh -huh. So you mix it with uh, you know, warm water together. Uh -huh. And after that, you just sit on the marble and then you, you shower. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You, you take a shower. So I can, I can hammam myself? Yeah, you can hammam yourself, yes. Now, what better way to see the city than through the food? So today I am going to take a food tour where I'm going to see the city sites and its food through Taipei Eats. That's kind of smell. <laughs> So it doesn't have that strong flavor that it used to have like 10 years ago, like long ago. But we like it stinky. It went stinkier than that. Well, it, the, 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 the snow is pleasant for us. Kolkata Food Walk is all about taking you to famous local food shops and you know, small eateries. We will take you to the back alleys of the city. I feel like there's, there must be a secret knock. I can see why everyone's eating. And these stalls, these are like really good. We have like a whole feast along the road. We're in Kolkata, the street food, eating street food is a must. I bought pomegranate juice from this vendor in the back of me. I bought it for five lira because that's like two and a half uh, US dollars. Anyways, buttons up. Tangy, kind of like a tangy cranberry juice. Juice of the gods. This one's a haircut. <laughs> Shows you could be dangerous coming through. Imagine if you really had to go to the bathroom. It took them around one month to build one room. That's like one month right there. It's 1855, 56. So when you think about it, graffiti actually existed a long time ago. Viscoelastic pillow. Viscoelastic pillow. You know what that is? I don't know, but it sounds really fancy, doesn't it? It's like a mental obstacle. 